Welcome to Q&A with Coach Edu and a long question here from Rachel. So bear with me while I work through Rachel's question and I'll do my level best to make sure that my answer is as sharp and to the point as possible and hopefully keep this entire video down to around about the three minute mark. So let's see how we go. Rachel says that it's more of an issue she thinks for the ladies but I can attest from, from my side that it's not just a ladies issue but uh, guys issue as well and that's um, how do we deal with love handles she races marathons but since she's UK of UK descent she really has a hard time getting the love handles to go away and knows that we need some fat to cushion the kidneys uh, and it's because women tend to keep a higher percentage of body fat but still it seems excessive for somebody who runs so much and she's got two marathons in the same week and she's got a great core she does side planks uh, as well as gym work but her sides look absolutely awful in her opinion her diet is quite healthy any ideas please and thank you Coach Rachel, thank you very much for this question and it is a superb question that, you, that you've given to me here. Very importantly, when it comes to issues of love handles, uh, I've got no idea what your quite healthy uh, nutrition side of your, of your lifestyle is looking like. Uh, if I had to venture a guess, there may still be a certain degree of uh, meat, eggs and dairy in there. So maybe look at reducing those as much as possible. But also, very importantly, when it comes to burning fat, running is not the optimal cardio exercise for burning fat. Yes, you run at, most of us tend to run at the type of intensity which is higher than the optimal fat burning intensity. So which means that you're burning much more glycogen than what you are fat simply because your heart rate is so much higher while you're doing your running. Secondly, is you're not running for long enough to be able to adequately burn into your fat stores. So for that reason, if burning fat is your primary goal, then bring cycling into your training regime. Go out on regular uh, 90 minute two hour bike rides and you'll find that those love handles burn away really quickly what's more by doing so much cycling you'll be getting your cardiovascular fitness for your running cranked way up you'll also be able to train seven days a week as opposed to running where you're probably looking at four maximum maybe five workouts a week so which means that with cycling you can up your training to seven days a week and you'll be able to ride for longer periods of time than what you're able to run for on an ongoing day-to-day -day, ongoing basis which means that you'll be able to burn those lover handles away that fast that's my take on the matter personally post any comments questions criticisms you have post those in the comment section down below remember thumbs up if you like the content share it out amongst your friends and last but by no means least hit the subscribe button Stay subscribed for all the new content that comes out to you every single day of the week. Remember, stay called up for the win. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.